The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has said the UN was taken by surprise by the fresh fighting in Sudan. But what more could the UN have done? The international community should have acted very early. I remember from my days in Yemen, I begged the Security Council, you know, in early 2014, you know, to take action uh, against the spoilers, and uh, they were very reluctant. And uh, the same I see, you know, happened in, in Sudan. The UN Security Council is the premier global body for maintaining international peace and security. It has 15 members, and of these, only five are permanent members with veto powers. The United States, China, France, Russia, and the United Kingdom. Even now, um, I, I see that, you know, some of the major powers are very reluctant to put real pressure, you know, on the two uh, belligerents. Everybody knows, you know, that there is a war economy in uh, Sudan. Everybody knows that they're benefiting, you know, from their uh, networks, their the economics infrastructure that they built. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres says the international community must speak with one voice and tell the fighting generals that the current situation is unacceptable. If this war continues, you know, what we are very likely to see is a, a humanitarian catastrophe. You know, we will see more fighting throughout the country and um, with spillovers, you know, to neighboring countries, that's, that's, that, that's possible. Look at the situation in Libya and how fragile it is. And, you know, we, there are reports already that one of the warlords in, in Libya is supporting one side in the Sudan conflict. So things can get very complicated indeed. The United States has authorized future sanctions against individuals in Sudan who will be determined to be destabilizing the country, undermining Sudan's democratic transition and committing violence against civilians or perpetuating other human rights abuses. The use of sanctions uh, throughout history, um, the history of the Security Council has not always been um, helpful. You know, we have seen this in a number of of situations, but um, you know the smart use of targeted sanctions against specific individuals um, may be very useful, particularly in the Sudan situation. So you don't target the Sudanese people, you know, who've suffered long enough um, the consequences of, of of this strife, but you know you target the two spoilers of the transition to civilian rule.